Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 12th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. You can see what was going on last night across the region. No surprise, still the Thule fog there into the valley areas. We'll take a look at how long that is going to last and what we can expect as we go on in through next week. Because it looks like we do have a pattern change on the way, so you're going to want to check this out. Now, taking a look at the mid-level water vapor, we can see the atmospheric river wrapping up now into the Pacific Northwest. Can get a deep trough out here across the Pacific. Pacific Ocean, and eventually we're going to get this troughing moving towards the west coast of North America. So if you want a nice Christmas gift here for family, friends, loved ones, uh, check this one out. Uh, you know, it's more than hardware as well. These uh, stations actually will talk to each other. It's a haptic rain gauge, ultrasonic anemometer, no moving parts, great smartphone app. Click on the link down below to save 10% off on one. Now, you can see, uh, of course, the fog out there is kind of a big deal, especially, you know, it can be a big deal for truckers and whatnot. Patchy dense fog out there till 11 a.m. on Saturday morning. But again, it's going to continue on for the next few days as well. So great graphic here from the National Weather Service, Hanford, California. But Sacramento National Weather Service is catching on to the pattern shift late next week. Forecast highlights, we could get some help upper elevation snowfall, some meaningful rainfall coming back across the region and the valley fog, low clouds expected to dissipate. So check this out. This is as we're going through this morning. You can see the fog and the low visibility is you know, carved out in the valley areas there. That is the Thule fog. And then we go on in through Saturday morning. Check it out. It returns yet again. Let's go through Sunday morning. Yep, it's back again. How about Monday and Monday <laughs> Again, Tuesday morning, one more morning possibly on Tuesday morning before you can finally see we start to shift things up and maybe get a frontal system start to roll through here as we go on in through next week. So also along with that fog, it keeps the temperatures pretty suppressed there in the interior areas. You're trapped in that inversion where you got the cooler air down into the valley at the surface. And you can see in the foothill communities surrounding the coastal ranges as well, Southern California, desert areas nice and warm, but not in the Thule fog areas here, the I-5 quarter all the way up towards the northern Sacramento Valley. And if we take a look here at 500 millibar, so this is the wind speed at about 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere. You can see the ridge dominating our weather here for the state of California. Now, if we put this into motion, the ridge hangs on for a bit, as I mentioned, probably going to go on through early next week before we can finally break the pattern. But the artificial intelligence finally does start to bring a frontal system as we go through next week. And this is the ensemble mean. So you can see the troughing getting closer here to the west coast of North America. So there's probably going to be a couple rounds of precipitation. Then as we go on in towards, uh, you know, December 22nd, 23rd, it really starts to pivot closer to the coastline here. We could get some much more active weather into the state of California. It's still a little ways out there, but the models have been showing it. And you saw the National Weather Service is also talking about it. So if we take a look at the ensemble mean precipitable water. You can see the remnants of that atmospheric river making national news here across the Pacific Northwest. Put that into motion. And you can see they're going to get another round here across the Pacific Northwest as well. And we do start to get some of that system moving down here or some of those systems moving down here as we go through next week. You can see the, the moisture plume pointed back at the state of California. It will continue to scroll on into the 180 hour time frame there. Look at that. Pretty good signal for some rich moisture to move back towards the state of California and hopefully bring some precipitation chances across much of the state as well. Uh, we are drought free across the state, but we'll always, always take whatever we can get. You know, let's fill up those reservoirs. Let's get some upper elevation mountain snow can help with future water, uh, you know, water issues as we go on in through the, the spring and next summer as well. You know, you can never have too much if you can store it properly, that is. Now, looking at total precipitation in inches, oh, we'll scroll through here, and the artificial intelligence is on the left, the ensemble mean, versus the GFS, the global forecast system on the right, it's ensemble mean as well. So you notice we scroll off in towards, uh, this is going on in towards next Monday and Tuesday. We bring that next system here for Northern California, and then you see the precipitation chances move down towards the Bay Area as we go through the uh, later portion of next week. The rainfall starts to pile up pretty good there across Northwest California, Crescent City, higher terrain. And then as we go on into the following weekend you can see we start to bring some of those chances you know you're looking up over about 10 days out but for southern california the signal is starting to emerge for some precipitation moving all the way down the state the gfs has it the artificial intelligence it's all mean has it and you can see the huge amounts of precipitation coming and hopefully some of this falls of snow for the higher terrain but look at this my goodness that's a lot of rainfall coming for portions of northern california as we scroll all the way out through the 15 day time period and check this out. Today is Friday. We had a new drought monitor update yesterday, and we have abnormally dry, 
couple patches here across the state, but we have no drought across the state of California. So definitely something to be thankful for there. The six to 10 day, you can see the above normal precipitation moving down towards Southern California as well. Eight to 14, or, sorry, six to 10 day temperature here, still above normal temperatures across a lot of the lower 48 actually, as we go through December 21st. Then the eight to 14 day starts to include Southern California and the above normal and much of the West Coast as well as we go on into the Christmas time period. And again, much of the lower 48 above normal here. We'll see if this has any chance of changing as we go on into the next week or so. Now look at our KDAP. You can see the ensemble mean, the green line is well up over seven and a half inches, approaching 10 inches. The control run has even more. So definitely a wetter period incoming here as we scroll on in through the second half of December. San Francisco, look at the control run up over four inches by the time we get towards the 22nd. The ensemble mean also showing some support as well as we get towards December 26th. And then we take a look at the experimental products and they are definitely calling attention to this. Look at this. High risk here for Southern Oregon and portions of Northwest California it extends all the way down moderate risk towards some of the central coast and slight risk all the way down the coastline. And that goes through the Christmas time period here. And also moderate and a high risk there of heavy snow during the same time period here for some of maybe the Cascades, Klamath Range, and maybe to the Northern Sierra Nevada, some moderate risk. So yeah. Good news there. Cross your fingers, storm lovers here across the state of California and some of the Southwest. Also, risk for high winds will exist in that same time period as the storms do return. Check out the Patreon page if you like. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day out there, and I will catch you guys in the next forecast.